All right, I'm recording on my <clears throat> on my screen, so we can do this, and you can listen later <laughs> if you need to. Okay, so let me dial it back. So I started this email this morning. It's like a process of how I how a lot of my emails come to exist. Like I don't have any pre-planned emails. Like rarely, if I'm lucky, I've got some kind of organized plan for three days from now. I'm gonna offer something for sale or prepping people to buy something if I'm lucky. I'm not usually that organized and I need to get better about it. This morning's email ended up with links to um, a new project that's, um, I'm, you know, I, I haven't come all the way out and said, yeah, I'm doing this with, a, you know, individually I have with people, but not across the board. That, that actually came into the conversation in my head later. Like it's kind of like an evolution of stuff. So Monday, two days ago, we had this Mastermind Partner Program um, a, a hangout. And one of the things that I, that, that the conversation there caused me to do was look up this link, which is a copywriting, how to do killer copywriting, um, like a copywriting uh, daily action plan kind of a thing. So that tab was still open on my computer this morning when I felt like writing an email. And I thought, well, let me just share this in an email. And I was just going to share the link. And then I got to thinking about the context, uh, the content of that article and, and like free associated across to like things, how it applied to my life. And I just start talking about that in the email. And it's, it, um, it evolves. Like it took me about probably took me about 45 minutes to, to ponder it and write it down and write little bits and pieces in there. Um, but in the end, I ended up with links to Prosperity Trip because that's part of the story, links to this new thing I'm doing because that's part of the story. And the, the core of the conversation was around boredom, which is what the topic of that, that article, you know, not the topic, the punchline of that article is that you know, basically boredom made him do it in the end is <clears throat> how he became a good copywriter. You'll see when you read the article. But anyway, I don't stress about what am I going to say. It might have just been share that one good link. See what I mean, Barbara? Yeah. But it turned into, I was like, usually I have too much to say. The letter gets really long. If I could just cut it back once in a while and just share a link that's good information, it would be much better. <laughs> But it literally, you know, it just expands from you have something really good to share, and then if you have a little bit more <clears throat> that you can offer of yourself around that, it's the same thing with blog posts. It's the same thing with posting on Facebook. Just sharing a link or copying and pasting something isn't necessarily enough, but adding a, a little question that goes with it that inserts conversation of your own or an opinion or a, you know, like a... What was it the other day? I don't know. It's, you know, a little bit of social commentary, op-ed op type information that goes with whatever it is you're sharing makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. I like it too. Like this morning's email was so easy. I was like, oh, at the end, that's a really good email. But I'm just talking to, like, like Teresa's like, oh, you inserted the name in the middle. And then Jim's like, Jim Land. <laughs> and I just, like, literally as if I was talking to somebody, wrote that down. Like, from my mouth to my paper. So when you can kind of get in the habit of writing as you think, instead of trying to put something together that's written well, you're, t you're totally golden. Hey, you bet. I'm going to stop recording now so we can, like, bear our souls some more. <laughs> this is the Secret Beliefs uh, webinar uh, hangout. So later, y'all. <laughs>